Hey guys, so I just got in from work and so before I changed into my comfortable sweatpants, I thought I would just film an outfit of the day and show you what I wore to work today. So, starting on my face, this makeup is kind of the same as what I've been doing a lot lately. I think I actually just filmed another outfit of the day with the exact same makeup, so we'll just forgive me on that. But I just used Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua on my face and I used Matahari Blush from NARS, which is a very pretty blue-based blue um, matte pink and I have been contouring lately with the Smooth Harmony Beauty Powder Blush from MAC just trying to kind of use this up and on my lips this is a new lipstick I bought from Revlon it's it's in the color 435 love that pink and it's a really nice watermelon pink color and it actually uh, very long wearing like I bought it last night from Target and tried it when I got home. Well, I first like swatched it on my hand in the car because, you know, you can't test it in the store. And then this morning when I woke up, like I was trying to scrub, it was still there. So, um, I've been pretty much wearing this all day and just kind of like blotting it to reapply, but it really has left a really nice stain on my lips for the most part of the day. So if you're looking for a pretty like summery raspberry, not even raspberry, watermelon pink color. I think this is really pretty. And I was looking through my collection. I really don't have any other MAC colors or other brand colors like this. So I really would recommend you picking this up. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit warmer, I want to say, than MAC Speak Louder, but that would be the one I think it's probably closest to in my collection. Okay. And then on my eyes, really been enjoying my Naked 2 palette. And so first I just used Urban Decay Sin as a base. And then I used the color YDK all over the lid with Chopper in the crease, which is this color. It's like a really pretty peachy color. And, and then I blended it out with Tease, which is a matte color. And I just blended that kind of like above the, the um, crease. Right underneath, I use the Matte Highlight Foxy on the end there, underneath my brow bone. And then over top, the Hourglass Ebony Primer, I mean liner, that I've been using, which is a pretty brown. I've just been using this color Busted, which is a dark chocolatey brown, and just kind of like smudging it over top. So let me just, I'll zoom in on my eyes so you can see. They're just very shimmery and pretty. And then I also took Busted and just lined underneath my lower lash line. And I did use the Armani Eyes to Kill, but I've been using it with this primer sample that I have from Tarte, <clears throat> the Multi-Eye. And with the primer, I've been liking this mascara a lot better than I do on its own. So that's just a little tip if you're like me and you got that mascara and it's not really working for you. Okay, so accessories. This bracelet, I've got a ton. I got a ton of compliments on this from work today, and I cannot remember where I bought this from. I think I got it from either J. Crew or Loft, but I know I've seen this style bracelet at both places. So, um, and then these are the same bracelets I had on yesterday. I actually haven't taken them off. They're the Stella and Dot. These two are Tiffany's. This is a Cartier, and then this one I bought in Hawaii. It's a Tahitian pearl bangle. I have Tiffany Silver Balls, my Tiffany um, Elsa Peretti Diamonds by the Yard necklace, and then this really pretty statement necklace is from Tarina Tarantino that I got last year. So it's like gray pearls and a big stone right there. Like a little cherub. It's really cute. Okay. <clears throat> so this shirt I have also in green that you've seen in an express haul. It's kind of just like a loose, baggy, silky... Um, comfortable shirt and I just love the color of it. I love this color blue. It's my favorite. Pants from Express, the editor pants that I swear by and I usually, these are the only kind of work pants that I buy and I just kind of have it loosely over it. I probably could tuck it in if I wanted to change it up and do a belt but I was just kind of being casual. And then my shoes are actually, I don't know if we're going to be able to see my shoes. I'll just take them off so you guys can get a better look at them. I totally forgot that I had them and I was looking at my shoe closet this morning to see which ones I wanted to wear. These were at the very top. I was like, oh, totally forgot that I had these. And it's really funny because I remember when I was in New Orleans, my mom was with me. She was like a chaperone on a school trip. She wanted to go in there and look at shoes and I was like, I'm not going in that store. 
But my friend ended up going in and finding really cute shoes because I just always, I just always pictured aerosol shoes as like old lady, not old lady, but just like built for comfort, not for fashion. So I wasn't going to go in. And then when my friend found a really cute pair, I ended up getting the same pair as her, which I don't have anymore. And these, which I would never have guessed these are from aerosols, but I have to say they're extremely comfortable, especially for a work shoe. Um, they have like really nice padding and they're just like a really pretty blue color and I've really been enjoying wedges lately. I think I need to actually invest in a couple more pairs because they're really comfortable for work to be in on your feet, feet all day. So that was just a little side note. I honestly though, honest to God, have not been in an aerosol store since that time in New Orleans, which is actually really funny. Um, I just need someone to like drag me in there, I think. So that is everything. I don't have any nail polish on. I'm kind of giving my nails a break, but I'm going to probably paint them tonight um, cause I hate when I don't have polish on, but then sometimes I do think it's good to just let, let your nail beds breathe. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.